What is going on, Summoners? We're back here today with another Champion Deep Dive. Today, we're talking about Silver Sable. So, sit back and relax, cause it's time to get into it. Silver Sable enters the contest as an elite bounty hunter. Her heavy attacks cannot miss, and the final hit inflicts a 35% potency disorient passive for 20 seconds. This maxes out at 2 stacks, and against science champions, it has a potency of 50%. Also, her light and medium attacks have a 40% chance to inflict a shock debuff for 20 seconds, maxing out at 30 stacks. And when a personal shock effect fails to trigger due to immunity, she deals a burst of energy damage. Now, on the final hit of her special one, she inflicts a tracking passive, bypassing the effects of miss. And sets a sable mine in front of the opponent that arms after two seconds. When setting additional traps, the old trap respawns in its new location with the new trap right in front up to a max of 3. As a defender, these mines spawn at Silver Sable's location, arm immediately, and only one can be set. If the opponent moves into an armed Sable mine, it triggers, inflicting an instant shock, dealing a burst of damage. When this happens, it goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. But, this cooldown can be removed early when performing an intercept or punishing a special attack. As an attacker, if Silver Sable passes over a Sable Mine, she's granted a 2% Fervor passive for 20 seconds, and purifies one non-damaging debuff. These Mines are not triggered during the opponent's special attacks, and these traps are removed without triggering when she's knocked into them by a heavy or special attack. With the special 2, the first hit grants a non-stacking cruelty buff for 20 seconds, and if the opponent is knocked into an active Sable Mine, she converts up to 10 personal shock debuffs into critical shock passives, multiplying their potency by her critical damage multiplier. The Special 3 At the end of this attack, she refreshes all personal buffs, debuffs, and passives and pauses them for 15 seconds. Also, she deals a burst of energy damage, plus an additional burst for each active Sable Mine. Now, let's check out her signature ability. When Awakened, Activating a special attack grants a cruelty buff for each shock effect on the opponent for 15 seconds, maxing out at 10 stacks. Additionally, her light and medium attacks that intercept the opponent have up to a flat 60% chance to inflict an additional shock debuff. Now, let's take her out for a spin in the champion rotation. To begin, Strike the opponent and focus on intercepting to start stacking up as many shocks as you can. Keep this rolling and push them back toward the wall, then launch your special one to inflict tracking and place your first Sable Mine. Now, when the opponent steps over an active mine, they'll trigger a burst of damage. From here, continue striking your opponent in the corner, stacking shocks as you gain fervor each time you move over the trap. And then, intercept the opponent to rearm the trap and push them through the mine with your special 2 to convert your shock debuffs into critical shock passives. Now, her heavy attack can't miss, and against science champions, her disorient stacks up to 100%. So, don't be afraid to use those heavies in matchups where you need to lock down those defensive abilities. Keep in mind, You'll purify one non-damaging debuff each time you step over a mine. And hey, in a longer fight, you might want to stack some of those things up, since you could place up to three. This will increase the amount of consistent burst damage and skyrocket your stack of fervor. Once you're all set up, you could launch your special three to pause and refresh all of your personal effects. 
Then, once you cap out your shock debuffs, build to special 2 and stack on a massive amount of critical shocks. From here, just keep the ball rolling until the opponent is knocked out. Thank you for watching this Champion Deep Dive for Silver Sable! And hey, if you liked the video and want to see more, click subscribe, like, comment, and share! And if you haven't already, join the official Marvel Contest of Champions Discord and come discuss! And remember, we'll see you in the Battle Realm!